So we're super excited to be back. Uh, so the race is August 29th, next Sunday. So um, uh, we're excited to be back. Obviously, COVID has uh, delayed us. So we didn't get to race in 2020 uh, because of COVID restrictions. And uh, uh, as things started to get better throughout 2021, better and worse. And then we were kind of a roller coaster over the last you know, 18 months, 20 months. Um, but uh, now we've gotten permission to move ahead with the event and we're super excited and athletes are excited and uh, yeah, we can't wait to be there uh, next week to start welcoming athletes and uh, be back in the Huntsville and Muskoka area. Nick, we'll, we'll come back to you in a minute here for more on that, but Greg, I want to switch over to you and just talk about uh, what's going to be happening with planning for this event, because we know every year there's a bit of uh, road closures and things like that. So the athletes have a safe area to, uh, to race. So um what can we expect? I, I know it's, I believe it's been a sort of a rolling closure here. Uh, what what uh, is the plan this year, Greg? Yeah, uh, thanks, James. And, and just to start off with, we've been working really close. It, it, uh, the planning's gone very quickly, obviously. And we've been working really closely with the uh, Simcoe Muskoka District Health Unit. And we only received approval for this late in July. So um, it's been really, it's been challenging on Nick and his company, TriSport, to uh, pull all the logistics together. So... Um, but the health unit's been amazing working with us and, and making sure we're dotting all our I's, crossing our T's for the COVID side of it. So that has extensive plans in there to make sure the safety for our community, for the participants and for the volunteers. So Nick's done an amazing job in, in managing that and, and the approvals are all in. Um, the road closures, there, there is going to be some adjustments, some differences this year. Um, we had an open house back in February 2020 to kind of discuss this with the community, if you recall. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, we've had the pandemic, and that's a long time ago now, that open house. But we're actually going to have our, the plan we had in February 2020 that was approved is, is the plan we're going to be uh, utilizing this year. So it, it, it has a full road closure of Brunel Road, um, which will have an impact on the community. Um, from 10.30 till 2.30 p.m. So the full closure is from Veterans Way on Brunel Road to North Mary Lake Road. So um, anyone south of that will be able to detour down towards Highway 117 to get into town. And uh, But the, the, that little affected area there will, will be um, difficult to have access from there. So the rest of the closures are all rolling closures, as you had mentioned. So we have from from uh, Brunel Road, North Mary Lake, right down to Baysville, 117 will be the bike portion of the race, and they'll be on both sides of the road, and they'll also be heading out to Dorset from Baysville um, on uh, the 117. So again, you'll see traffic there. And then for the run course, they're going to be using Mary Lake Road, so it will be open to the residents there, and they'll be able to leave south through Brunel Road. Um, but the, the run course goes from Brunel Road to uh, Sand English Road. So that, that, that's where you're going to see the athletes. And, you know, we highly encourage people to come out of their house and cheer them on. It's, it's, it's an awesome experience. It, it is an inconvenience for the four hours. And we, we, you know, we deeply apologize for that inconvenience. We're getting as much notice out there. You'll see signage. There'll be residence notices uh, in everybody's mailbox by the end of the week. Signage will be up on the streets notifying everybody to try and give everybody as much notice. But um, the, the full closure will be will, will be challenging for some people. We're hoping that with enough notification, it won't be a major impact on them. And if they are able to come out and support those racers, you know, nine probably between Nick will give you the numbers, but between 800 and 900 athletes coming down, and it's an awesome experience and and uh, a lot of fun to go out there and cheer them on. So Nick, that's a good segue to go back to you and talk about uh, the athletes and also how people can support because I know we want to try to avoid large gatherings uh, as is protocol but at the same time you know there are people that want to show their support so let's talk a bit about that yeah exactly so the host site is the summit center uh, at the arena there and that's kind of where all the action happens the uh, swim starts just down the end of the road uh, camp kitchen road there and um so, and uh, we, um, the swim exits right at the, the summit center there uh, coming out of the water. And so basically all the actions there, the bikes start and finish there and the run starts and finishes there. So we are kind of asking athletes or uh, spectators to kind of avoid the summit center or just kind of maybe cheer on athletes along the course or, you know, somewhere else. Cause you know, we are trying to abide by all the public health rules and make sure that we're not uh, exceeding any limits or you know just encouraging people to kind of you know keep their distance and that stuff so uh yeah there's other ways and other spots uh the bike course goes down uh, 117 uh so there's spots in Baysville to watch and uh almost to dorset there so there's spots along the bike route and the run route to to watch so 
uh, yeah, trying to you know, eliminate the and uh, but still want path or, uh, people to come out and support the event. So, and Nick, and I I understand, or, or maybe because we're getting so close, you might be wrapped up with volunteers. But I know you were looking for volunteers at some point. Is that still something you're looking for? And and if people are interested, how can they get involved? Yeah, exactly. So we're always looking for volunteers. We love to have uh, community support and we have a, a great group right now. Um, yeah, so we can always use more. There's lots of different areas that we can uh, use help with registration, which is Friday and Saturday. Um, and then Sunday race day, there's always help to be in the transition area, making sure athletes go the right way or um, some support out on the courses, handing out water and Gatorade and that kind of stuff. So uh, there is a registration page on IronmanMuskoka.com that they can go check out and uh sign up there and then we'll be in touch with them with more details uh but volunteers are coming along nicely and but yeah it's a great way to come and support athletes from uh, all over ontario so greg i'm going to come back to you for the last word and just again kind of highlight um you know we all understand this is a bit of a pause in the community it is one day um so it's not a huge overwhelming uh, change but you know it is a bit of a pause on a sunday but as well it's a very good sort of mechanism to bring people into our community right yeah, thanks, James. It, you know, it, it, it has a great economic impact to us. It's 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 a put us on the map event. Ironman's a, a highly recognized brand uh, of an event, well known throughout the world. Um, Nick, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we only have five Ironman branded events in Canada, and we're the only one in Ontario. Very fortunate for our, our town in Huntsville to 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 be that destination. Um, there's a big economic impact on the community. I know that, and there is absolutely an impact on the community for those that aren't economically impacted. It, it, it is a, a lot of people in our community, but the overall put us on the map benefits, the healthy lifestyles promotes that. Uh, it, it's just such a wonderful event and it really is inspirational. Um, I've worked with Nick on this event for over 10 years and it is really worthwhile to come out and support the event. So if there are people that are looking for something to do on a, on a Sunday, or even as Nick said earlier about the Sunday special and uh, being involved in that race and cheering those athletes on, they're so thankful and really rewarding. So I, I hope our community can enjoy it and, and embrace the, uh, the excitement. And, and we're just one of those, we're just a very fortunate destination that uh, Ironman has selected us as a, as a base for their event.